okay, we know what we need to deliver. Let's mobilize a team. Let's make sure that we're actually getting to do so there's no blockers in the way. Make sure that everyone understands and tracks the responsibilities and the handovers. Make sure that then we can validate and verify that we are meeting those requirements and that we are learning at the end of the day. So Louis, how do we manage the, the updates and status at work? Yeah, well, each team has a certain permission level. So they can filter for their own scope of work. They can filter for their own teams, see tasks that are in within a certain time frame, and make those progress updates themselves. Typically, a modeler or someone who's editing the model would progress those tasks and get them to a point where a checker can then verify level of information need, all connected to the model. And we do have an integration with BIM 360. It really helps ensure that we meet expectations from the original document and we provide better quality models. Yeah, linking it to the requirements inside of the same workflow is, is extremely powerful to make sure that you're not missing things along the way. Teams know exactly what the tasks are and you can understand when they're delivering uh, exactly what they're delivering and then being able to show it vi visually to be able to understand you know, what is checked what has been procured, what is on track, what is behind. Visualizing that status is, is really important.